are back in the building. It's your boy, Mr. Cameron, with my young boy, Christopher. We are here. We are so glad that you are here joining us today. What what you got? What's what's this? I got a guitar because I mean you know, I know what it life is. Life app, the life app because you know the life app is jam out. I like it. Having jam sessions, I love it. So just but, in case this is like. Like you your first time yeah, here, that's then what I'm you like really. We are like like both of us are really excited that you guys have super, come to the elementary super, weekend experience. Super super excited. We are super excited. Just, just strum it. Just do it. Just, just out of excitement. I love it. I love it. So, like Chris said, jam session, everyone has a part to play. And yes. speaking of everybody having a part to play, like, what's yeah. our life app? Like, our life app some, has something to do with that, too, right? Yeah, I think it's cooperating. Ooh, I like that. So, what does cooperation mean? Well, cooperation is working together to do more than you can do alone. I see what you did there. So like you bring the guitar because you can't just play one string. But you, you have, have to, play to play all, all of, of the strings. All right. So like yeah. you can cooperate on your guitar, like working together. All the strings work together. Yeah, it's kind of like without, without one string of the guitar, the guitar will be playing one string just. And although that'd be a good song, I feel like that'd be kind of boring. Yeah, that'd be kind of boring just here. But you, but when you have all the strings, you can hear this. I love it. Cooperation. So last week we learned that God wants us to work together, kind of like your guitar string. Yeah. Just like me and you working together, like doing this intro and welcoming everybody to the church service today. So I get it. I like it. So last thing, memory verse. I know, like they were like you helped me memorize. Memorize. You helped me memorize. 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 I helped you memorize the memory verse. Yes. Try to say that five times fast. I helped you memorize the memory verse. 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 It's a bit of a tongue twister. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Tongue twister. Tongue twister. Tongue twister. Tongue twister. That's a tongue twister. Tongue twister. The word tongue twister is a tongue twister. Is it a compound word or is it just no? Anyway, that's besides the point. Memory verse: Two people, one two, are better than one. They can help each other in everything that they do, and that comes everything that they do. That comes from the book of Ecclesiastes. Yeah. Chapter 4, verse 9. Well, since you got your guitar, that means like some music should be. Yeah, so maybe up. like some uh some praise and worship. Mm, mm. When I say praise, you say worship, praise, worship, praise, worship. When I say praise, you say worship, praise, praise worship, praise, worship. When we say praise, y'all say worship, praise, worship, praise, worship. When we say
Today's game is going to be really fun. Yeah, but we like to say, okay, Boomer. But how much do you really know about Boomers? We'll find out in today's game called OK Gen Z. Some multiple choice questions will pop up on the screen. And, the, and then you guys can answer in the chat. Let's see how many questions you'll get correct about the boomers. Have fun! Good to see you in the month of March and it's springtime, which means I'm doing some spring cleaning. You see, I brought the biggest broom that I could find because I have a job to accomplish and I'm going to succeed. So you see what you do is you take your little broom and you just kind of sweep it up. You know, you, you've done this at home. You know, you've had to work together. Maybe you had a project that you're sweeping and you're cleaning on. And so I'm just going, hey, Tina, how you doing? What are you doing? I'm sweeping. Come on in here. Come on in here, Tina. I'm just, I'm just sweeping, just sweeping, you know. I'm just trying to check all that. Oh, you brought a stick. What are you doing? I'm sweeping. I'm sweeping the whole stage so that when we keep on doing our recordings, everything is just fine. But I brought the, I brought the biggest broom that I can find because I'm going to succeed. So I'm just going to sweep this little area right here because it's going to take forever. <laughs> just, You're doing a great job. I, I am doing a great job. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you had a broom, it would be great because maybe we can work together and pull this thing off. But I brought the biggest broom that we've had. So I'm just going to keep on sweeping over here, pull this off together. I'm sorry. I don't have anything to help you. Did y'all see that? Maybe I didn't see that. I don't think I saw that. Okay. It'd, just be, it'd be so awesome if you can just help. I just feel like there's a way that we can accomplish this together and pull this off together because I brought this broom, but if you had another broom, it'd be great. So I'm just going to say. Where would I find another broom? I mean, <sighs> I hmm. promise I keep seeing a broom. But I'm just saying, if you would just work together with me, we'd be able to accomplish this, and we'd be out of here, and then we can go to Chick-fil-A oh. and enjoy all the wait chicken Wait a minute, salmon. wait a minute. Mm -hmm. 
Do you want me to help you? Yeah. Should I help him? I mean, I've got to go find a little tiny broom, I guess. I clearly got the biggest one in the whole building. And Do so, you? Wait. Wait a minute. You're telling me this whole time that I've been using this broom, you had that broom, and could have helped me accomplish the goal. Well, you know, you were working so hard. I saw you around the, the campus here, and you were really going, so I was just letting you, you know, finish doing what you was doing. I mean, you know. Right. Who am I to interrupt progress? I'm not going to interrupt progress. Like, you do you, boo. <laughs> somebody who wanted to work together to accomplish something greater. Help me. Help you? But you were doing, why should I interrupt you doing your great work? I just feel like when you're cooperating, you know, Cooper you're working together. Uh-oh. I just thought that's what we're learning about cooperation, we the are. idea of working together. I mean, you've done a great job holding the, the broom there, but I, I mean, am I just, it. I'm just, I, mean, I, I just imagine if we work together, what could be accomplished? You see, like if you joined in, I guarantee you we would win. I don't think so. But if you just let me do it by myself, we you might You will lose. have a greater sense of accomplishment because you did well, all no. of it by yourself. Well, no, no, no. But it's more than just me. The things that I'm doing is going to help so many people. Is it? Yeah. Think about it. When people come to church, like if you come to church and it's all clean, you would be like, oh, my gosh, this is so great. But imagine if we work together just like in the, you know where I'm going with this. I, I, I kind of feel like you're going to say the Bible, but there's oh, not. Oh, the Bible. B-I-B-L-E. The Bible. Because I know there's a story. There is. A story. That talks about people needing help. Winning battles. What? Yeah. Winning battles. Moses. It's in the book of Exodus. Moses went and got the people from, from the Israelites from Egypt, and he, yeah, he, he did that. Well, he had God's, I mean, he had God's he help. He had God's help with it. But them. he let them all out. What are you talking about? Well, there's, so many, there's so many opportunities. So there's actually a time where they're getting ready to fight the uh, Amalekites. They're, they're getting ready to fight them, right? And th this, whole, this whole battle is amazing, right? Because Joshua is down there, and he's preparing to, to fight this right. battle. Right. 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 So Joshua, Joshua was going to go right, fight. Right. You have your broom, and go and do what you got to do, right. Joshua. Right. But, but you see that Joshua went, he, he had a little bit with him, right? Yeah. He had a little bit with mm -hmm, him, right? Mm -hmm, but yeah. then you notice how you have this larger broom and how when we work together, we're able to succeed together. So you see Joshua. And oh, oh, I know, I know. I know. Mm -hmm. Someone gave Joshua a big sword. Well. That's what happened. They no. helped him by giving him a bigger sword to fight them. I mean, no. Yes and no. I mean, like, there was more people that helped him, but not so much a big sword. There was more to it, you know? Okay. You see, Joshua needed help from above. He needed uh, a larger help than he was able to do it. See, as he mm -hmm. was getting ready to, to fight them, mm -hmm. um, he, Moses sought God, just like we can. So Moses needed God's mm -hmm. help. He realized that we cannot win this battle without who? Say it with me. God. God. So God helped Joshua by giving him a big sword so he could fight them with the Israelites and they one. That's a great story. I think you're missing a little bit part. Of, I mean, I guess there's the big broom. Yes. Around. Yeah, but I think, yes. Bigger broom. The, the reason big I'm sword. No, the reason I'm talking about your broom is because your broom can help. Just like, so imagine you're Moses, right? Yeah. And so here I am, and I'm trying to fight this battle. I'm Josh when I'm fighting the battle, mm -hmm. but Moses had the staff, you see? And yeah. the staff helped him, right? And mm -hmm. so Moses was holding this staff up high, right? Just holding it up high above his head. And so the thing is, if you're at home, you can just raise your, I'm sorry, I'm just too tall. You can just raise something you got above your head. You can get a broom. You can get a pencil. Don't put anything expensive above your head. But as he was holding this thing above his head, the whole time he had it up, they were winning the battle. And so, wait, wait, wait. But it's, 
That was heavy. Right, right, right. And I'm going to get to that in a second. So as he's holding the staff up, and like, and if you've been holding your hand up for a while, you start to feel a burn. Are Probably, you still holding? Are you, you still holding? You start to feel a burn I right there. Do... Yeah, it starts They're to burn holding. a little bit. Yeah, oh. so Moses is holding his staff up. And while he's holding his staff up, they are winning. But then Moses did something. He did just like you. His arms started to go down. Man, this was heavy. And then when his arms went down, they started yeah. pat, 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 pat. Oh, pat. no. They were losing. They're taking hits. Yeah, oh. they were losing the battle. Wait a minute. So when his arms are up. Up. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Just like that. Yeah. Keep on going. Ah. Boom. Arms are up. Ooh. We're winning. Oh, oh you can't stop me. Oh, oh, oh. Got it. No oh. problem. <laughs> They're winning the battle. But as they start to go down, they start to lose oh. the battle. Oh, got to go back up. Yeah, keep it back up. <laughs> so what you can see right here is maybe... <sighs> oh. Miss Tina... I can't do it. Needs I can't do it. some, say with me, help. Oh. You're absolutely right. I do need help. So there were two people in the Bible that actually helped Moses. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Are you telling me because Moses needed help uh-huh. to hold up that staff? Yeah. And they came and helped him so Joshua could win. Correct. That if I help you, that all the people that come to the church, they're going to win because we work together? Absolutely. We would succeed because it would be absolutely clean. But you see, when Moses was holding up, he needed that help. And there was a man by the name of Aaron. And there was a man by the name of Hur. And so as he had to go ahead and lift it up real quick, lift it up. <clears throat> and you out there who are watching, you're going to be the third person who helps. And so I've got one side. So what I need you to do is raise your hand and grab the other side. Because what you're doing is you're holding it up. And as you're holding it up, they are winning the battle. Because here's what happens. It takes off some of the pressure. So when you help your friends, when you help your mom, when you help your dad, when you help your siblings, what you're doing is you're relieving some of the pressure from them. And they're like, oh, help me clean my room. And you help them. Guess what? It's not as hard anymore. If it's like, help me cook, it's not as hard anymore. If they're lifting weights, it's not as hard anymore. Because we've got to work together. Because you don't want them to sit there and have to struggle way too. Oh, sorry. Left right there. Got your help right there. You see? What if you help somebody to succeed? Because what it's not about is you all the time. Sometimes you've got to say, I've got your back and work together. So I need to take this broom (laughs) and help you clean. I would greatly appreciate that. And all the people who come to our campuses and even the people who enjoy our recording, because it's hard to record in a messy place. It is. They would appreciate that. And I guarantee you they would appreciate it because it kind of ties into our bottom line. It does, doesn't it? It does. Mm-hmm. Right. The bottom line. Because we need to work together yep. to help someone succeed. And I love that. We've got to work together to help someone succeed. It I just gained some knowledge. Boom! I see what you did there. <laughs> I got you. I got you. My all shirt right. doesn't have anything on it that's cool like that. That's all right. But when we work together, look, see, look, it's already getting cleaning. Wow. You're cleaning like 90% of the thing when I only had this little broom right there. So the question I've got for you is who are you going to help? Who are you going to work together with to help someone succeed? Not just you, but you've got to work together to help someone else succeed. Can you do that? Will you do that? And if you will, drop it in the chat. But then also tell us who you're going to help. I'd like to know that, too. I'm gonna drop How that. are you going to help? Them? I need to drop it in. I'm just going to text you right now and be like, um, I'm going to just text you and be like, helping Tina right now in the chat. Pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. <clears throat> so um, let me it. pray. Yes. And then we'll clean all this it's up. It's going to take 2.2 seconds with this humongous broom. Right. Well, it would have took me 2.2 million years. With this old baby broom. But we'll work together. What if I had hair like a broom like that? Let me pray. Father, thank you for your love. 
Thank you for your word, Father. I just pray that we would work together to help someone succeed, not focus on ourselves, but focus on the other person and helping them accomplish what you have called them to accomplish. Help us cooperate, help us to work together. But most of all, God, help us to treat others how we want to be treated. It's in your sons that we pray. Amen. Hey, right, man, bro. I love it. I think, you know what? Mm-hmm. I You take that side. Uh-huh. I'm going to take this side over here. Let's see who can get done first. How about I take this corner and then you just take the rest of it? Because I mean, You look. know what? That's fine because yeah. it's going to take me no time. Lickety split. We are back. Back at it like yes, we never sir. left. So um, that was a great story, by the way. I loved it. Did you like it? Yeah, I liked it. I love that. Bring your guitar but- over here so everybody can see your guitar. Just like... Oh, that was a different note. When you like put your fingers like, and then like do something else. Is that like a G flat? This is oh. an E flat? And then an F flat. Ooh. I'm pretty sure you can learn how to play Twinkle Twinkle Star if we like work together. And we yeah, can, like, yeah, out. we could like work yeah. together and that like, you can teach me probably if you know how to play the I mean, guitar, I but yeah. I don't know make, hold on, maybe I should like, you know, make a little song about us doing the Elementary we can experience, so we, we should work together to do it. You know? I'm down for that. That's just like our bottom line said, work together to help someone succeed. So I definitely think that we could do that. We'll just have to get some other people to help us because yeah. I don't know how to play the guitar. Oh, well, I, of course, I don't know how to play the guitar. But you either. have a guitar. Yeah, but I have a guitar, so. We could work together, team up. And speaking of working together and team up, virtual small groups. What do they do in virtual small virtual groups? Virtual small groups. It's a beautiful song about virtual yeah. small groups. So what do they do in virtual small groups? Well, virtual, I think I'll say it in a song. I'm listening. Virtual small groups is amazing. You get to talk about God with your friends. And you get to learn more about Jesus. And you get to have fun all day. Huh. That was fire. I like it. So that's what virtual small groups does. And then yeah. also a way to help others is online tutoring. I bet you don't have a song for online tutoring yet. Oh, uh, bet. Bet. Online tutoring is where you get to learn more about school. And you get to let those grades rule. And you always have fun doing it, too. And you won't drool. <laughs> I guess and it so. is cool. And you do it in... Ah, I didn't have any more words. Anyway, <laughs> I think it'll be rocking. Me and Chris are going to learn how to play this guitar. We're going to create some songs. We're going to make our own YouTube channel. Yeah. Stop it every time I say something cool. We're going to go eat lunch. We're going to go have fun. We're going to do it all until the day is done. And then we're going to rock it out. And we're going to rock it out.